Now it's time to find out who is going to take the compound women's Pan American title of 2022. Let's go to the shooting line. Find out who's in this final. On target number one, representing the USA, el ataque número uno, representando los Estados Unidos, Paige Pierce. <laughs> On target number two, representing El Salvador, el ataque número dos, representando a El Salvador, Paola Corrado. <laughs> the line dot for this match will be. El juez de línea para este match será Carlos Cervantes. So the contenders for this gold medal, Paige Pierce from the USA, world number 20, sorry, world number six, 27 years old. She beat Lopez in the semifinals by a single point. She goes up against the 19-year-old. A bit of a surprise package here, Paola Corrado from El Salvador, world number 39. Came through Suarez in the semi-finals in a shoot-off. <whistles> Gotta think that there's a little bit more pressure perhaps here on Paige Pierce. She's gonna get the match underway. Nueve, nine. Ocho, eight. Nueve, nine. Both making some adjustments as I say, come off the practice field. Got to get straight back into this ten now. Yes, ten. There it is. in venue. I wonder if they're going to have a little look at that one and see the disappointment there. Is it, was there anything in particular you saw with that shot, Nikki? I don't think so. I think there's probably some nerves on that practice field right now and an just got to settle ourselves down player. into this. It's a huge occasion. as a it's championship at stake and, you know, just like you said to begin with, really, I mean, Pete Pierce is a well-known, hugely respected competitor on the circuit and it's going to be a tough match. Just talking about Paige Pierce, here she is. Just a second outing uh, outdoors this season. Uh, I, I think it's pretty it's pretty safe to say that going on the professional tour is all about generating income. Um, but how much does it then affect your your form outside? Um, you know, I think. Essentially, you're still in a, uh, an environment like this where it's high pressure, high stakes, you know, a lot of money on the line. Um, but, you know, it's different, slightly different discipline, mostly field arts, which you will have been doing around America. Obviously, Compound Bow was born in America. It's such a huge circuit, so much to do there. And she made that decision early this year. She wasn't going to have the world on the World Cup circuit. She was going to stay within America and do that, that pro series. And, you know, that's been a great decision for her. But, um, yeah, we haven't seen her so much, have we, in the Hyundai? World Cup circuit. No, we have not. And uh, I can confirm that uh, that uh, eight from Corrado that would look to the closest actually got marked up two and nine. So Corrado just one point behind Pierce rather than the provisional two that we saw earlier on. So it will be Paola Corrado from El Salvador to start the second end. Yes, 
10, 10. Yes, ten. Well, looks like she's settled down now. Looks calm. Very settled. Yes, ten. Ocho posible nueve. Eight posible nine. Uh, perfect for PS. Twenty eight from uh, Corrado, but again, the arrow on the left is uh, subject to a measure. It's Pierce's target, the three tens. Provisionally a three-point lead for Pierce. And that's that uh, peep sight we talk about. Morgan in the box. For Ace Pierce, great athlete in his own right, world medalist. Great box behind you. Yeah, clearly it's working for Pierce. Two nines to start the match off, but then it's been perfect Paige Pierce since then. Of course, on the other side, of the shooting line, it's uh, Roberto Hernandez back in the box. Athlete, coach, and official. He's a busy man, the El Salvadorian. Time though now for Paolo Corrado to get to work. She trails by two points. Yes, then. Yeah, you can hear him talking her through that shot all the way, can't you? Really important for the athlete on the line. Yeah, middle. Yes, ten. Ocho, eight. And low again. The only thing I can think really, you know, if she's a bit stressed, a little bit soft perhaps, coming off the front. Drops them low. Yes, then. Pace versus gaining confidence. Yes, then. Rebe, nine. Everyone well, you look around at the field of play here and look at those flags, they give a real indication and it's changeable as it was yesterday. Uh, the wind started to pick up a little bit, very settled through their last arrows there, but uh, it's the consistency of Pierce that's leading the way at the moment. Three point lead for her. Twenty-eight from Corrado. Interesting to find out what's going through her mind, as you say, a bit of tension, perhaps. And when you say going soft, what 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 do you mean by that? 
Oh, she seemed to really stay with the like, tension, you can see it taking the thumb off, and then she just kind of push and pull that gut away, so, you know, under high pressure scenarios, you know, your brain's sort of telling you just to <laughs> not commit sometimes, so it is just not pulling as hard as you would normally, that can help the arrow to dip down. Time for end number four here in this compound women's gold medal match. Corrado training by three. Yes. Starts in the middle of the target. It's the second arrow, though, that's been a tricky one for her. By contrast, yes. Pierce looking very solid indeed. Found at the middle of the target. Her first perfect score. Yep. Yes, ten. Just one drop point there from Pierce. So one point gained back with uh, one more end to go. Still have to favour Pierce, don't you? After four ends. Yeah, you do, you know, something enough to go pretty wrong for to drop these two points, but it's not impossible. We've not, you know, seen anything happen in these events. And like say, there's a little bit of wind on the field. I don't think it's affecting too much, but it's that inconsistency of it that can play havoc. The difference in style for these two is Paige Pierce putting a thump around the trigger. Ricardo taking the thumb off and pulling through. 116, 116. Resultados oficiales después de cuatro tiradas. 116 a 114. Target two shoots first. La parte número dos comienza disparando. So this is it for the gold medal here at the Pan American Archery Championships. Nineteen-year-old Paola Corrado from El Salvador, trailing by a couple of points, shooting first. Nueve, nine. Just dropping points, just the one point here or there. It's left the door open for Pierce, and she has seized the opportunity. Yep. Yes, Yes, ten. Yes, ten. Well, going on that pro tour certainly hasn't dented Paige Pierce's form. Nine. Held on for another 28. It's a great score, <laughs> but uh, Pierce here. Yes. Room, and she finishes in style with another perfect score. A 146 plays a 142, and to be fair, uh, that is a good reflection of the performance of the two athletes. It won't bad in any way, shape or form from the 19-year-old El Salvadorian Paola Corrado, but Paige Pierce was absolutely brilliant today.